Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Something I forgot to do. Um, I never made a video on the most valuable Jumpstart cards. So we're going to do that like right now, including the lands. Uh, let's just start with the lands. And uh, I made the artwork uh, pretty large on this video. So you guys can get a good look because this is what a lot of people are interested in. So all the way at the bottom, um, yeah, I didn't put all the lands in here, but these are the more sought after ones. Uh, basically anything $1.50 and up for lands, I threw in here. You can find one of these uh, special style kind of lands. Uh, there's plenty of them too. In a pack. It's the first land in uh, the end of the pack. So $1.53 for the mountain here. Pretty cool art on that guy. And then for the island, we got $2.59. Do not fret. I will go over all of the uh, cards um in the top 25 after this. So 259 on this art. I, you got to appreciate the art of Magic the Gathering. You really do. Um, just looking at this, like, it almost like, okay. Clearly there's a face there. I mean, we all see it, you know. It almost looks like hair with the water flowing over. Like, his mind is just, like, blown. Next level mind. Like, not even blown, but it's just, it's just thinking. There's, like, this gear thing circling around. Just really different kind of stuff going on here. Um, $2.59, though. But I like it. It's almost like it's blowing up through the clouds, you know. Just, I don't know. I would hate to see that in a nightmare, though. I'd be like, what are you doing? Um, Terramorphic Expanse. Kind of disappointed with this. And the reason I'm disappointed with this one, it's not an evolving wilds. What were they thinking? They didn't even include an evolving wilds. The most sought-after card in all of Magic in this uh in this set and it's just it's just mind-blowing it really really is uh two dollars 94 cents for the terramorphic expanse it's just a wannabe evolving wilds i mean they do completely opposite things all right planes three dollars and 15 cents this one's pretty slick gotta like the art on that you got all the unicorns you know and the horses you know out on the prairie just trampling on through and they're all cloud-like haru hooray hooray i think i pulled one of these in a jumpstart booster box if i'm not mishmaking so yeah that's pretty legit um yeah cool stuff oh look at all the chemtrails going on in the background anyway then we have this beautiful puppy four dollars and 57 cents i know it is really, really cute. Actually, if I, if I ever owned a dog, it would probably look something like that, you know. I like the white little uh, fluffy coat on it. It's just, just lounging on this little hill, you know, all peaceful and whatnot. Very tranquil environment. Got the butterflies floating around, you know, and this dog's just thinking, I'm going to eat my owner. All right, moving along, we have ourselves a Riptide Laboratory, $4.72. This is probably not one you can find in a land slot. you got to find it uh, in the wizard deck, you know, of course. But it's a land nonetheless, so I threw it in here. $4.72, really cool card. Been printed quite a few times, but there you have it. Okay. Lurking Predators. Now we start the top 25. I think maybe, just maybe, that laboratory would be 26. So, yeah. Lurking Predators, $5.26. Pennies, man. A little six drop here. The really interesting thing with Jumpstart, what is making these cards so valuable? One, a lot of these cards are new. Okay. Not all of them, but a lot. And some of the cards that are in here were much needed reprints, you know. Uh, and that, you know, also makes this these very uh, pricey because they were pricey before the reprint, you know. Um, but also another thing you have to understand about this set is how the distribution occurred, how they got these cards, these boxes out to people. There was a huge screw up in the very first run of this set. Uh, the first print run, I don't know how many were damaged, but there was a lot of cards that were damaged. And when I say damaged, uh, the misprint community, they're misprints, you know, more, more or less. I like this card. I want to play with it. But they are misprints more so. Um, and you've seen me even open some on the channel. Um, just insane amount of damage. Like right here in the text, it was just all smeared. You guys can go back and check that video out. Um, it's a misprint video. I don't know what all I titled it, but just go back like within 15 videos. Um, but it's crazy to see. And people pay big bucks for these misprints. So that was the first problem with this set was getting it to people. You know, plus also what was going on or what still is going on, you know, around the world, you know, it's causing delayed in, delays in shipping. But really what set this back was the fact that they screwed up. 
more words or less, you know. Um, the printer press just mumble jumbled everything, and it was it was terrible. My only question is, was that intentional? You know, was that an intentional move by Wizards of the Coast? Uh, maybe to draw some more interest into Jumpstart. It really didn't need all the interest um, because, I mean, there, there are some good cards in this set, some very good cards. You know, some of these cards, like the very first day, you know, the set dropped, they're seeing play in vintage. Wow. You know? So really, really cool. Reanimate, of course, you know. 727 on the Reanimate. Gotta love the art on Reanimate. But you gotta, it, it just begs the question. Was that intentional with the misprints? That, I... I, I speculate. Um, I think it is. You know, I, I think they did that on purpose. But then, maybe not. I mean, but who was the quality control that day? Because it seems, uh, I check out this misprint group on Facebook, and it seems every now and then, more of these cards are floating onto that group, you know, that are the misprints from this Jumpstart set. I wonder how many there are out there right now. Um because uh, how I wish we knew more numbers. I wish we had an idea of how many booster, the exact print run, when it drops. Here's the first wave. Here's how many boxes are in that wave. This is information they're not obviously going to give people, but it would, you know, not initially. It would be nice to have that information because w did you distribute 100,000 boxes of Jumpstart? You know, 10,000 got out, 50,000 before someone caught this error. Maybe that's what happened. You know, maybe it wasn't intentional. Someone's like, whoa, man, we got to stop sending these out to, to LGSs right now because we got a big problem on our hands. See, see this, Billy? Oh, my gosh, John, that is amazing. That, how did we let that happen? Cancel everything. Stop everything. Oh, my gosh. Shut off the printers. Okay, there's something wrong here. You know, I don't know why he speaks that way, but he does. Um, and maybe that is more along the lines of what happened with Jumpstart. You know, it, it was not intentional. They caught it, and then the distribution was just shut down for a while until they fixed it. And then maybe, maybe they had to destroy all those boxes. What did they do with the cards, you know, if that is what occurred? A lot of questions I do have, and I wish they could all be answered. Will we ever know the answer to that? Probably not, but it's easy just to assume that um, Wizards made a boo-boo and they noticed it, but they already had a bunch of orders ready to go and started, you know, they already shipped out maybe a quarter of them, you know, to LGSs and they're like, whoa, we really, really, really messed up here, guys. Let's just stop it. So I think that is what happened here. And that also is causing um, the prices on this product to increase, uh, by, you know, maybe not increase, but just to be... <laughs> jumped no, no pun intended the prices are uh, a little a little high right now because distribution is low and i know i think they're on their second or third wave now so it looks like they have fixed the problem and we're starting to see more and more of these boxes um our jump start packs enter into the market so uh the prices on these that's another thing they might go down a little bit as more waves continue to hit and how many waves will there be Will there be five waves? Will there be six waves? Will this be one of those sets that's just printed into oblivion? I don't know. I don't have all the answers, you know. But I will be um, meeting up with uh, uh, my friend at the uh, LGS in a few days here when I pick up some Zendikar Rising uh, product and start cracking that on the channel Wednesday. Um, and I will talk to him about the Jumpstart thing and get some more inside information, you know, um, about anything he's heard. But, yeah, really, really crazy how that happened. I remember the... Uh, this is a cool card, by the way. Um, the uh, Another great card, 1371. And these are all available on MTG Arena, too. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say next, but uh, some some stuff. You know, I saw a squirrel on the screen. Squirrel! You know that ADHD just kicks in. You guys got ADHD? I got ADHD. I know it's nuts. I know, I know. It's mostly from head injuries, though. Totally off topic. Where are we going, Joey? I don't know. All right, Phyrexian Tower, $13.71. <laughs> Beautiful card. Um, yeah, hopefully... Uh, I don't know. I'm always on the fence about how much product, uh, you know, like of one set should be should be dropped. Should there be like just a boatload? Should we get four, five, six waves? Should it be endless? Should they print into oblivion? Yes and no. No, because if you print it into oblivion, the people that are paying, 
you know, 90 bucks, like what, my, what is it? 90 to a hundred dollars, maybe like one Oh five. It depending where you it really depends where you buy it. You get some deals on eBay. You could pick up booster boxes for like $87, $90, you know, for a regular standard set sometimes, you know, depending on the set. Um, and also maybe you buy in bulk, you know, you can get some deals too, but then you have, um, the average price is like 90 to 95. And then your LGSs are typically selling them for 95 to 110. Um, I, I trust me, I've heard stories. It's crazy. Um, I've experienced a 110 myself uh, from an LGS before. And nothing wrong with supporting your LGS. If that's what they're asking, cool, that's what they're asking, you know. But I do shop around, so um, there's that. Um, here's another really sweet card. It's great when this thing uh, happens. If you just, you know, late game, boom, man, that's nuts. You get all the creatures on the battlefield under your control. Um, but yeah, um, for a decent uh, a decent price, you can pick boxes up. But if they did flood it and just print it into oblivion, the people that paid that ninety to a hundred dollars a box, do you have any idea what would happen? That price would plummet, man, to like sixty, seventy bucks because they just printed way too much of it. And then the people who bought all that, they're gonna be so upset and disappointed. So it's like eventually, at some point, they have to cut the valve. You know, they gotta shut the valve off. They can't just let it, you know more and more stuff continue to leak um, out there. Um, but with the, the amount of product that they're dropping right now, I would, I'm really interested to see some figures. This card's cool. I remember pulling two of these in one box. Um, but the amount of product that they're pushing on us, I'm not complaining because it's, it's a awesome. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's the best thing for my channel. There's always something to talk about. And, and I, I feel blessed in that sense, you know, because if I was trying to make uh, this channel, let's say 10 years ago, you know, and they were just dropping four or five sets, you know, a year or whatever, three, three sets, four sets a year, it would have been a little more difficult. You know, it'd have to be a lot more content out there. And um, I tried to be a little clever and unique and, you know, drop some different kind of material. But with the product waves that just continuously hit us. You know, it's 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 more easy to make content. You know, because there's just so much to discuss. I if I really just sat here all day, I could probably drop. I know I couldn't. Um, but if I made video after video after video, I mean, I would have endless content. Really, you can make endless content on Magic: The Gathering. That's the route they've gone uh, over the past five years with all the product, all the new hype, all the new talk, all the bands. Um, all the prices, all the hottest cards, all the spoilers, all the box openings, um, all just um, the list goes on. The deck text, the gameplay videos. I mean, you can make so many things. Um, lore videos, um, the history of magic videos, um, just um, you know, collectibles, the reserve list. Just, just the list goes on and on. What you can talk about: Commander, Standard, Pioneer, EDH, same thing. Um, you know, Brawl, I mean, it's just nuts, Vintage, Legacy, blah, 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 blah. Um, people start making new uh, sets, you know, um, Canadian Commander or EDH or whatever, or Canadian Highlander, I mean, it's all over the place. There's just so much to discuss when it comes to Magic the Gathering, and that is a beautiful thing, just like this gorgeous blonde right here. Um, and here, bam, $18.20. There's a Phyrexian land, the one you see featured in the back here in the art. Uh, very, very gorgeous art on this. I think it's cool to incorporate uh, art of creatures into some of these lands. That makes them really special because what a land was, you know, you wouldn't see something inhabiting it, even though this kind of appears as like a statue in the background. But in any normal land, you wouldn't see any of that. You know, you, you won't see a dragon flying around, typically. You know, I'm sure maybe back in the day, you know, there was something. But in this set, they did that, though, because it's almost like, why is that dragon there? Do I have control of that dragon? Is that my dragon? Is it a 2-2 dragon? Does it have fire breathing? You know, like, I just think people were, would have been confused back in the day. But, yeah, a plains is a plains. An island is an island, you know. Swamp is a swamp. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, but, yeah, just really, really cool stuff. Um, just so much you can do with magic. And and this Phyrexian I mean, Phyrexian language here. Can anyone read that? Does anyone know what that says? I think that says swamp land. <laughs> is there some code there I don't know? This says land. I mean, this is, if Phyrexia, man, you guys must take a lot of time to write out your language. And do you always have to, like, write that line across? Or does your paper already come with it? I'm just, I'm asking for a friend. So this is all really just overwhelming stuff. The number of things or products that's out there. Uh, branching Evolution, $20.44. That's one of the more uh, pricey ones. I remember I was a little disappointed when I opened two of these in the same booster box. But, I mean, the total is 40 bucks, you know. And this was printed before uh, in past sets. So, uh, interesting card, though. But, I mean, great. It's just great. 
everything is great here. Look, is that a panther? Yeah, that's cool. Some elk going on there. Darn you. What, what's his name? Um, the guy that's been banned. Oh, man, why can't I think of him? Um, Eric, oh, my God. Whoa, Joey, 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 Joey. What is his name? I bet I have his card sitting around here somewhere. Hold on. We Hold on. Guys, hold the freaking fort, man. Hold the freaking fort. And I still got um, to give something out, too, but hold the fort. What's his name? Oko. There we go. Oko. Oko, Oko, Oko. Yeah. Is that one of Oko's elk back there? Probably sure is, Billy. Um, yeah. There you go. Moving along. Next card. Next slide, please. Thank you. Ristic Study. Wow. Um, I made a stupid play. I remember um, back in the day, um, uh, I, I had my, I gave away a Ristic Study, basically. Not gave it, did I give it away? How'd that go? I know it wasn't to a patron. Um, but man, I, I just regret it because it was one of the original art. It was a mint condition and it was the foil version of the Ristic Study, you know? Um, and it was at the time, I think, worth like 14, 15 bucks, something like that. Now it's probably like 40, 50. Not even that stupid, not a big regret, but every time I see a Ristic Study, I'm reminded of that because I opened it in a random collection that I purchased off eBay. I think I, think I did. Or if it wasn't a random collection off eBay, um, it was one of those, um, what did I open that from? Holy crap. I'd have to go back and do some research. It, might, it probably was a random collection then with that Ristic Study in it, but man, it, it just shined bright like a diamond. One of the cards that has my heart. It really does. Foil version. All right, anyway, Exquisite Blood, $29.75. This card's nuts, too. I remember when this thing was like four or five bucks, not even. It was like, I think when I got back into Magic, it was like three, four dollars, which was about five years ago. Um, if that, it was cheap, you know, but it, it, it goes infinite with other cards, you know. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life, you know, and then the reverse effect, you know, gain some life. It's just, it, you drain your opponent, you gain all the life you want. You call it a day, you know, it's infinite, you know, stuff. It's even in, uh, uh, not in standard, but in a historic format, you can, you know, make some nonsense of that. Really, really cool card. $29.75. Probably not going to drop too much unless, you know, we see like more waves being pushed out. How is it by your local game stores? Are you guys getting product out there? That's another thing. Um, like, are you getting the jump starts? Are the delays affecting you? Did your uh, LGS say anything about the delays of uh, Zendikar rising? You know, when will those arrive? Are you going to get different waves of that? Because I know the distribution has been, you know, kind of slowed. Um, all questions I have, I need answers to, my friends. Uh, Muxus Goblet Grande. This thing's stupid, man. Really fun deck, $30.44, and for good reason. It is just a very powerful uh, goblin. Very similar to um, that other girl, uh, Winata. You know, very, uh, similar kind of ability there. Um, I don't know who's better, Winata or this. I mean, they're both really, really good. Winata's already banned, you know, in some formats. Standard, is it banned in standard? No, it's not. Winata's not even banned. She was banned in Brawl as Brawl Commander. Okay. But, man, uh, not banned in real Commander, though, is it? Probably not. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, anyway, $30.44. Friggin' sweetness, man. This thing's just ridiculous. Uh, turn four, you can just uh, basically beat your opponent. You know, you could win turn four in Historic with this. Easy. Okay. Oracle of Moldiah. Maybe turn three, even. I think I'm, mm, that's kind of stretching it, Joey Moss. But it's probably possible, Bill. Probably possible. Oracle of Medaya, another card, another reprint, you know. Um, really, really cool card. This card will continuously probably go up in price slowly. People are asking for the reprint of this for a while. So he's tons of play and commander. Uh, 3075. Yeah, just a really, really sweet card. And good reason, you know. Good reason, my friends. But uh, yeah, Amelia the Bless, another. Amelio! <laughs> okay. 3221 for Emilio here. Um, sweet horse, man. I tried building a deck with this. I, I tried a lot of decks, and that's probably why you don't see a lot of deck decks. I didn't feel they were up to par, um, so they never made it into videos, you know. Um, and I didn't want you guys building absolute junk, so I never actually put the videos out there. Um, and they're long gone now. They're long deleted, you know, from my history and everything, and even now they're recycle bins for storage purposes. But if that's something you guys think you might want to see, let me know because I can make a second channel and just dump my, my garbage content that, you know, maybe didn't work so well onto that channel. I mean, at least you're going to be entertained, you know, to say the least. I'm not saying to build the decks, you know, that are going on the second channel. But if that's something you think that'd be cool, let me know. Um, yeah, anyway, 3221. I think I should do a live stream again on, on YouTube as well. 
I think that'd be a lot of fun because I want to interact with you guys, you know? I really, really do. I like interaction. I like people, you know? Just not all the time, you know? Does that make sense? You know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a hermit, you know? Keep a tight little knit circle, you know? My little knitting club. Okay. All right, we got Emil the, bl the Blessed here, 3221. Legit card. Um, I could not make it do what I wanted it to. Maybe I was trying to use it wrong, but I mean, I was trying to just go unicorn tribal, but then I tried doing a few other things with it too, using some busted cards that like re-entering the battlefield, you know, an ETB entering the battlefield triggers and whatnot. Fun, fun card to go with though. Um, yeah, anyway, moving along. Tiny Bones, Trinket Thief, yeah, 3555. It's a really, really powerful card because that ability right here, bam, each opponent with no cards in hand loses 10 life. And, uh, I mean, in one turn, if, if you could pump out a crap ton of mana, I mean, and your opponents have no have no cards in hand, you can just win the game on the spot. Boom, 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 you're dead, you know? Pump it a couple times, it's 20 life loss right there. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, um, I've made a deck with Tiny Bones. Um, it, it's, uh, no. Um, no. No. Discard's not there. Not in, in Historic, okay? I'm, I'm not speaking for a commander. I'm not speaking for... Pioneers, even legal and pioneer. I don't know, but probably is. Um, I'm not speaking about any of that kind of stuff. I'm not speaking about modern. I'm sure there's you know better places for tiny bones than you know historic right now. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I couldn't make it work too great on uh, on historic with with it being competitive. Fun to play, yeah, absolutely. Winning like 30, 40, 50 percent of the time, sure, you know. But winning more than that, not so much. So, uh, crater hoof behemoth, thirty seven sixty eight. Baby, baby, love this card. Just a nasty, nasty sauce, man. Heck ton of fun to play with. It's footsteps of today are the lakes of tomorrow. You want to just get a bunch. It's, it's best in elf builds. You know, you get a whole bunch of freaking elves on the field. You know, they're all dancing around with their little elf horn. <laughs> all right, and then you just smack this thing down. Bam! You know, when this sucker hits, man, you are wrecking the board because you're giving everything haste. I'm sorry, you're giving everything trample, and you're giving everything plus X plus X. X. That's nuts. It itself has haste, though. Um, just annihilate. I mean, when usually when Crater Hoof Behemoth drops, the game is over. If for some reason it is not over, I would be a, I'd be impressed if it doesn't end right there. You know? Yeah. Okay. Fun card though. Brock, grand delinquent. You're a delinquent. I hear other people saying um, deliquent or something. I, I don't care. It's dilo. It's delinquent to me. Maybe delinquents with an A. I don't know. I don't care. But we're going to go at delinquent. He's always going to be the grand delinquent. If an opponent would mill one or more cards, they mill twice that many cards instead. Wow. I do expect to see this reprinted soon in an upcoming commander set. Yeah. They're, they're not going to keep, they're not going to drop a new commander and let it be $40.85. It's going to climb to 50 bucks before uh, it, the reprint does occur. But expect to see it reprinted within a year's time. You heard Joey Moss right here first say it. At most two. But like let's be real. Like one year, guys. Uh, just a nasty card right there. Elsor Shepherd. Yeah, this is another one that's gonna get a reprint very soon. $90.69. If they don't, I would be so impressed by Wizards. But this card, if a two years goes by without this card getting a reprint, do you know what's gonna happen, guys? This is going to be at least like a hundred fifty dollar card. Now, again, with Jumpstart, I think they said basically Jumpstart something that could be reprinted again and again and again and again. Um, it's something that has no end. I think I remember hearing something crazy like that. And if that is the case, then wow. Um, don't buy boxes right now. Hold off for a little bit. The price will come down. It was up to two hundred at one point. TCG player right now has it down to one sixty. Prices are going to drop even further. Bet your bottom dollar, man. Um, especially with new uh, or more waves coming, you know. I think it's one that's printed to oblivion. $90.69, yeah. So all in all, wowzers. Those are the most valuable Jumpstart cards. Do you have any? Did you go out to your Walmart maybe? Maybe your LGS? Pick up one little pack? Oh, let me get that. All right. Ooh. Squirrel. All right, guys. Got to go. Thanks for tuning in. Join Moss Bad Boy Gaming. Skadink, skadink. Skadoosh. Making up for teenage crime. Making up for teenage crime.